In this video, I will show you how to solve kinematic problems using graphs. So you can solve these using equations, but sometimes it's easier just to use a graph to solve the problem. Um, so in this problem, it says a car accelerates from rest to a speed of 28 meters per second in 20 seconds. What was the car's acceleration? So first, I'm going to be uh, drawing our velocity graph. And this car is going from uh, rest to 28 meters per second in 20 seconds. So I'm going to put 20 right here. And the final speed is 28 meters per second. So to find the acceleration, uh, we need to remember that acceleration on a velocity graph is represented by the slope. And the slope is just the um, rise over run or the change in y over the change in x. So change in y over the change in x. And in this case, the change in y is uh, from 0 to 28. So that's going to be 28 meters per second minus 0. And the change in x is from 0 seconds to 20 seconds. So it's just 20 seconds minus 0. So we're just going to take 28 divided by 20 and we get 1.47 meters per second squared. And that's going to be our acceleration. The second thing you can solve for here is the displacement. So part B says, how far did the car travel? So I'm going to shade in this area right here. And that area right there represents the displacement. And the displacement is uh, the displacement. Um, displacement also can be written as delta x is the area under the curve so the area under and I want to be specific here under the velocity versus time um, graph okay so curve under the velocity area under the curve under the curve for the velocity versus time graph. So I want to be very specific about that, that it's just not any type of um, graph. So like a position versus time graph, it's not going to represent the displacement. OK, so um, the area. So if we take a look at this um, uh, area under the curve here, we see that it's a triangle. And the uh, the equation for triangles, 1 half base times height. So we have 1 half base is 20 seconds. The height is 28. Um, so uh, we have half times 20 is 10, 10 times 280, 28 is 280, 280 meters. So this car travels 280 meters during this 20 seconds of acceleration. So here's another kinematics problem that we can use graphs to solve the problem. You can use equations as well. But sometimes it's just easier just to use the uh, graphs to solve them. Um, it's good to be able to do them either way. All right, so a car slows down from 30 meters per second to 14 meters per second in six seconds. What was the car's acceleration? So once again, I'm going to draw my velocity versus time graph. So velocity time. And in this problem, we're slowing down from 30. to 14 meters per second. And uh, this is going to go um, until for six seconds. So for six seconds, the graph's going to look something like this. OK, so that should be a straight line. It's going to go something like that. OK, so what is the acceleration? Um, so we need to remember that the slope of the velocity versus time graph represents the acceleration. So the acceleration is represented by the by the slope, which is the change in y over the uh, change in x. Uh, and so the change in y here is going to be, uh, I went from 30 to 14. So I'm going to write 14 minus 30. And then the uh, change in x, it went from 0 to 6 seconds. So 6 minus 0. OK, so 14 minus 30, we get negative 16 divided by 6. Uh, and we get negative 2.7 meters per second squared. So that's the 
acceleration. Um, and the negative, what that means is that it's uh, in the negative direction. Um, so if I were to draw, we'll take a moment just to sketch this out here. So here's my, my little sketch of the car. Okay, the car is going towards the right, uh, and it is slowing down. So therefore, we know that the acceleration is going to be in the opposite direction. And then also, I'm going to indicate that I'm making right positive. So I'm making right positive. The velocity is in initially going in the positive, or is going in the positive direction, but it's slowing down, so the acceleration is in the negative direction. Okay, let's take a look at the second part here. How far did the car travel? Um, so this, for this part, we're looking at the area under the curve. So we have here a triangle, and over here we have a rectangle. So we're going to um, add those up. Uh, so the displacement um, is equal to the area um, under under curve. And I would just want to be clear once again, we're looking at a velocity versus time graph. Okay, because sometimes students will think, oh, this applies to any graph, but it's specifically to a velocity versus time graph. So we're going to use our um, equation for a area of a rectangle base times height plus one half base times height for the triangle part. Uh, so the base here we have uh, six seconds times the height, which is 14. Okay, and then we have the triangle on top um, base is six seconds. And the height, we're going from 14 to 30, so that's going to be 16 seconds. Okay, so 14 times 6, we get 84. Um, half times 6 times 16, we get 48. Uh, if we add that together, we get 132. And uh, 132 uh, meters, uh, that's the dis displacement. That's how far this car traveled while it was slowing down uh, over this these 6 seconds. So now I just want to show you that if you were to use the uh, kinematic equations, that you would get the same uh, answer that we did with the graphs. Okay, so um, if you were to use the kinematic equations, I always suggest starting with the uh, variables. And uh, so in this problem, our initial is 30 meters per second. Our final is 14 meters per second. And our time is 6 seconds, and we're looking for the acceleration. So um, we can use this equation, VF equals VI plus AT. Uh, we have 14 is equal to 30 plus A times 6 seconds. Um, subtract 30 on both sides. And we get 16 equals 6A. And this will be a negative 16. Divide 6 on both sides and A, uh, we get negative 2.7 uh, meters per second squared, which is the same answer we got using the graph. Okay. Um, now, uh, for part B, let's try to do that the same way. That, let's try to solve that with the, with the kinematic equation. So we can use delta x equals 1 half vi plus vf times t. 1 half vi is 30, vf is 14, t is 6 half times, and that's going to be 44 times 6, and if we multiply all that out, we get 132, 132 meters, and which is the same answer we got using the, um, using the graph. So sometimes it's easier to use a graph, sometimes it's easier just to use the kinematic equations.